Dan. He's about 15th back now. He's going to have to find something special as Gaviria goes long. Hofstetter also there as well. Hofstetter goes in the centre with Dan Aisey on his wheel. Hofstetter, Dan Aisey. Here comes Caden Groves. Is it finally going to be the day for Groves? Groves hits the front. Malia on the right-hand side of the road. Dan Aisey in the mix. Milan with the lunge. Milan! Milan! And Malia takes the win by a whisker. By a whisker from the Malia Ciclamino. Stage 19 was a penultimate day in the mountains in the 2024 Giro d'Italia, 157 kilometers predominantly uphill and finishing on the famous ascent to Sapada. The day for a breakaway, the day for some GC action, uncertainty over the peloton, Danny Martinez in second place and EF Education as well as Decathlon 82 Isle Mondial looking potentially to get riders in the breakaway. The flag dropping in bright sunshine before they headed eventually up into the rain very active start of the race, blown on by strong tailwinds. Eventually a 10-rider group got up the road, but not for long as they headed towards the selection of towns and the foothills. Julian Alaphilippe attacking and taking with him another nine riders who eventually got themselves together as they made their way to the first bonus sprint of the day. Jonathan Davai is also in the group. Julian Alaphilippe though, taking this smaller group that would swell in size through the first sprint of the day. And then again, still active behind and another group getting up the road, trying to hunt them down with three riders from EF Education Easy Post, trying to make it a 19 rider move off the front of the peloton who eventually let the break go. It took a while before the group of the three EF Education Easy Post riders, including Georg Steinhauser, managed to make the junction, but in the end, there were 19 riders off the front as they headed to the Intergiro with UAE Team Emirates allowing the gap to go up for once no action, threatening in the GC group as the breakaway was secure in their victory. But who would it be? Heading to the Intergiro at Palauro, it was uh, Manueli Tarozzi who just drifted off the front to take the Intergiro on the day. Alaphilippe then caught him up as they headed to the Paso Duron and Alaphilippe attacking from the foot of the climb. Forcing a selection, Tarotti briefly part of it, Steinhauser and Navai is going with him, and Palayo Sanchez battling to get back on terms. Quentin Ehrmann's also part of this elite group of riders on the steep slopes of the Paso Duran. Alaphilippe over the top of the Category 2 climb, with Georg Steinhauser interestingly picking up second place in the King of the Mountains competition as they descended down to the next bonus sprint, and the ascent of the Sella Valcalda. Cevicento then went the way of Julian Alaphilippe once again, the second bonus sprint of the day. And then onto the next categorised climb. And again, Alaphilippe from the very get go started to prize the group clear, toying with the idea of going solo, but joined once again by Sanchez and by Navaez and by Steinhauser, a selection of riders who've already taken victories at this year's Giro d'Italia. As the rain started to fall over the top of the second categorised climb of the day, it was Steinhauser who picked up a further nine points in the King of the Mountains competition. Then, on wet roads, Andrea Vendrami, who had struggled on the both the previous climbs, clipped off the front and started to establish an advantage. Chased down initially by Julian Alaphilippe and Jonathan Navaez, but those groups would come together. Andrea Vendrami, a winner at the Giro d'Italia back in 2021 though, was now 30 seconds ahead and when they headed into the last 15 kilometers pretty much uphill all the way to the top of the uh, Chima Sapada climb Andrea Vendrami was out of sight. Six riders then getting together Steinhauser attacked that group and went off in pursuit of Vendrami joined by Peleo Sanchez but Vendrami still had over a minute and was in sight of the top of the climb and the descent towards the finish line. Steinhauser was then caught and passed by Peleo Sanchez, but Vendrame looking totally in control of his efforts. He's gonna soak this up, 500 meters of pure joy for Andrea Vendrame. It's been three years since Andrea Vendrame has ridden to victory in any bike race. The Giro d'Italia really, in 2021, his biggest achievement by far. But that stage pales into insignificance relatively compared to what he's just delivered deep into this Giro d'Italia in the Dolomites here against a stacked field Andrea Vendrami has been off the front for longer than any of the other bike riders in this breakaway 
Wonderful victory, another stage win for Italy. And Vendrame has just done the ride of his life. Decathlon 82 Ile Le Mondial score a second win. And that was the best ride this man has ever, ever produced. And what a stage to do it on. Vendrame, take a bow. Putting everybody to the sword in the big 19 rider breakaway. A fantastic achievement from the Italian. Peleo Sanchez in second, Georg Steinhauser once again in third. No change in the general classification in the top 10, despite Aina Rubio trying to put pressure on Roman Bardet. And this man has won the Maglio Ciclamino. His lead now, Jonathan Milan, an unassailable 127 over Caden Groves. It's theoretically possible that Tadej Pogacar could lose the King of the Mountains jersey tomorrow to Georg Steinhauser, who moves up to second. And there's no change in the white jersey competition as Taberi still leads Tumen Adamsman by 41 seconds.